Hello, my name is Norm Dew, and welcome back to Civ 5 Let's Play with Carthage. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. Uh, we just had a new citizen for UTK, and uh, yes, we have a trade route. So we are going to continue searching the nearby lands. Maybe we'll be able to settle another city this turn on another island, uh, hopefully. So let's get started. Ah, look who we just met. Boudica of the Celts. Well met, fellow warrior. Oh, wait, this is a girl. <laughs> Never mind. Well met, fellow warrior. I'm Boudica, leader of the Celtic peoples. May we be allies in the turbulent world. <laughs> okay, so let's just see what some of the stuff they have. They have some money. Okay, that's about it. Oh, yeah, I don't want your money. Okay, yeah, so we will be talking to her soon. She is very close to us, as you see. We just ran into her with our Queen Kumere. I can still can't pronounce that. Yeah, that's actually kind of a problem that she's that close. She might be maybe one of our first victims, actually. Okay, we're going to have our workers make a mine here for some extra production for UTK, because UTK is pretty slow, I gotta say. Oh yeah, I forgot we actually, we already met Bismarck over there. I, we're Actually, no, th that's the first uh, city that we found. We we only saw Bismarck's uh, ship, now I remember, yeah. But yeah, she's pretty close to us. I don't really like that. Ooh. Psalms 90-12. Let's see, we get the plantation, which is very good. Stoneworks, that's a pretty good one for happiness and production. And the Stonehenge for faith. Ah, oh, man, we can't move our ship any farther because Dublin is in the way. Uh, let's see if we can make a peace treaty with uh, Dublin, maybe. Not a. Pe Whoa! Put the sword down, lady. <laughs> oh man. Um, let's see. Let's accept her embassy, and she accepts ours, and then. Oh wait, never mind. We. Oh, what am I thinking? Yeah, we can't get open borders till civil service. Till we get civil service, so yeah, that's not gonna work. Never mind, I don't even want your embassy. So we're just gonna have to go the other way around. Ugh. All right, for Carthage, I'm thinking either granary, yeah, probably amphitheater, get some culture. We already have six citizens, that's pretty well, and we don't want our happiness to get too low, because our happiness is pretty low, and you know, if you grow more citizens, that just increases your unhappiness. Um, let's see, for our tech, oh yes, we already got optics. Where's civil service? So this is where the uh, open borders is. Ooh, now this African forest elephant is the special unit for Boudica, and we already have some horses and stuff like that, so that would be a good one to get. The catapult is pretty good now that in Gods and Kings you don't have to have what is it, iron or something? You had to have you had to have a resource in the past. Um, ah, hard decision. Let's go with the African horseman, I guess. Uh, what's up here? Ooh, ooh, the National College that. Ah, might need to go for that because we're not really going to be in any battle. So yeah, let's go for that and we can build the National College so that we'll be very advanced in our science, which would help out a lot. And I think I'm going to go with that strategy. Even though it is nine turns, it will be a nice boost. Oh, so some barbarians want to fight, eh? I'll take you up on that. Ah! Oh, nice. Took him out pretty well. We should be able to get them next turn. Yeah, flee from my city. Okay, now we can have our workers come and make sugar since we now have the plantation. This will give us some happiness, which we kind of desperately need four turns away. And we can have our workers come and make a plantation down here for spices. That will be very helpful for happiness. Ha ha ha, take that. Okay, so Carthage has finished its production. Um, in two turns, we're going to be able to build the National College in Carthage. But we also need a settler, so I might build a settler here. And that's the kind of the next thing we have to figure out, is where do we want to put our next city? Maybe somewhere over here in the clouds, if uh, Badika hasn't taken it yet, hopefully. But yeah, so 
what should I build for these next two turns as I wait for whatever? I might, uh, what, yeah, let's go with the this, the boat because really we just need lots of boats um, since this is a lot of water. Our, our land units really aren't going to do anything right now. So we'll get the boat, we'll try to get a settler from Utique, and hopefully by then, once that settler is built, we'll have figured out where we want the city to go. And we are still in the lead, barely, probably because of our science. But uh, yeah, so hope we're still up there. Okay, we have finished the sugar, so we now have four happiness, that is great. Let's move our worker over to start on the farm here, next turn. And we finished the lighthouse, I think, is what I built. So, oh boy, 14 turns for a settler? Ah, I don't know if I can do that. Let's see, how much is it to purchase? 500 to purchase. I might have to wait till I get 500. Uh, hmm, that's going to take a while. Unless we could take over some barbarian encampments, which we don't really have enough uh, cities. So that's kind of a problem as well. I might have to have Carthage build us a settler. Ah, we're gonna have to see. Um, so instead, let's have you TK go with the work boat so we can work on these whales. Maybe we could trade that for with Budika, make some money out of that. That might be a good idea. So we'll go with whales and uh, we're gonna have to figure the settler thing out. Uh, accept embassy. Let's see if we can somehow get some of our other luxuries into this. Uh, we only have one whales, one sugar. We don't want to trade that. Only have two horses. <laughs> uh, maybe never mind. We'll just accept his embassy. Maybe make him happy. Wow, we are actually the most well fed. Seven compared to three. That's pretty impressive, actually. I wouldn't have thought that we were that well fed. Ooh. There's only one good knowledge and one evil ignorance. Well, hopefully I'm going to have the knowledge in this game after I get the National College, which I think we might uh, I think we might need to build our settler in Carthage before then. So let's uh we got our we got our boat built from Carthage. So let's build the settler next in Carthage because I don't know when we're going to get that if we build the National College first cuz that's going to take a while. Let's send our boat out that way to explore for new places to settle. Ooh, it looks like the Celts are the first to make a religion, Christianity, in the holy city of Edinburgh. So we're a little behind there. Okay, you workers make a farm. Okay, let's go ahead and go with bronze working for our tech, so because uh, iron is pretty important. And, uh, well, we're not really going to be, we're, I mean, I have enough stuff to do and build with my cities for the next few turns. So I think we're going to fill out some of this area before we really need anything because we don't really need any fighters at the moment. Ah, uh, really? You're not going to let me through, Budika? Yeah, we're kind of stuck because we cannot get through Budika's land area. I guess you're just going to have to come back the other way. <laughs> ah. Yeah. With a spear eleven cubits long in his hand, the bronze point gleamed in front of him and was fastened to the shaft of the spear by a ring of gold. Other than uh, upgrade our spear, our uh, warrior, I'm pretty sure warrior upgrades to a spearman. But other than that, I doubt we're going to even buy or make any spearmen. We might as well have my other boat uh, explore up here while we're up here. Okay. Selecting a social policy, we got representation, which each city you found will increase the culture cost of policies by 33% less than normal, and it starts a golden age. That's a pretty good one. This one, plus one happiness for each city you own, connected to the capital, and negative 5% unhappiness from citizens in non-occupied cities. Both of those are pretty helpful, but I think it's best to go with this one because it will make it so that we get the next one quicker. And we're going to go for that one next, probably, so that we can finish Liberty up. So that should be good. 22 turns till the next policy. No, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 22 turns. And we just started a Golden Age. For our tech, let's go ahead with construction just so that we are able to construct the lumber mill that's pretty important for our workers. Oh, who is this? Wow, 
Where did you come from? Nice little fire in the background there. Let's see what he's got. He has two horses. He has some gold. He has some money. Not as much as us, though. So that's pretty good. Let's see how many cities he has. He has two cities. His capital plus Stigduna. He is pretty cool. Is this uh, Netherlands, I think? I should know. Oh, no, Sweden. Yeah, he's the Sweden Gustava Adolphus. Oh boy, it looks like our settler in Carthage is finished. And this is kind of a problem because I have no idea where to put him. We could put him down here where they suggest, but that's uh, it's just not so good. There's hardly anything around here. Just whales, which we already have that resource. This is just dry land. Nothing over here either. Like, we have marble. I, I mean, I guess we could put it here, but there's really nothing. Nothing at all. And I guess there is sheep. If we put it right here, we might be able to reach the sheep, the fish, and the marble. I guess that's a possibility. And then over here, we have a city-state, and then Boudica blocks everything off. So there's really nothing, unless we parked it right by Boudica. That would probably be a problem. Oh, so here is where Berlin is. Maybe we could park a city next to Berlin somewhere, but... Man, I just don't like how close everyone is. They're right there. So I would like to build the National College in Carthage, but the problem is we need a library to be built in Utique. So I guess I will build one in Utique next after this. Um, so why that's happening, I think we'll go with the stoneworks in Carthage. Uh, temple isn't bad, but let's go with stoneworks first because it gives us production and happiness. We do have seven happiness right now. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see, what do these wonders do? We got some faith, national epics, just a little bit of culture, pyramids and culture. We don't really need those yet, necessarily. You might get them eventually. Yeah, let's go stoneworks. Uh, what should I do with you? I will guess, I guess I'll move the settler this way. That might be good. Because, I mean, I might put my city over by Berlin. That might be the best thing. Let's see what's over here. Oh, okay, some barbarians. Great. Okay, so here's where Sweden is, all the way up here. At least they're a little bit of ways, but man, are we crowded. Oh, man. Germany already has a city right here, which means this whole border here is like all cityed up. We got Boudica over here, uh, Germany over here, so I really have no idea where we're going to put this city. We could fit one there, but that really isn't a good spot. And there's a city state right next to it, so it allows for like no growth whatsoever. I guess we might have to put one here on this little island, which is also kind of worthless. We're just, we're pretty much in a bad position. Because what I need for my new city is to have some resources that we don't have before something different from spices and different from sugar and whales. Because that's the only three resources that we really have. Because um, we're going to need that happiness eventually. So I'm not sure. Maybe what we might have to do is just place the city somewhere over here. And then just build up a force. Take out either Germany or Badik and just take over their island. Because there's really nowhere else for us to go. So Plus, we just fell behind by a point to some unmet player. So we got to get moving on this. Oh boy. It is Hiawatha from the Iroquois. He says, I am Hiawatha, leader of the Iroquois. I bid you welcome, and I hope that our two great people shall be friends. This is kind of a problem because this means that the Iroquois are also close to us. Let's see what they have. Uh, not much. Don't even have any strategic resources. They do have some furs and crabs. Let's see if we can get their furs. Well... I don't really want to spend my money right now. Yeah, we don't need the happiness. Maybe later we'll trade with him. Yeah, he his boat is right there. And they're spearmen, which means they're not a real boat. So he is somewhere around here. He's not far from us either. This is really crowded. Okay, so I decided, even though we already sent my settler off to the east, I'm thinking that we're going to have to bring him over here to get this marble because there's really nothing else that we can do. And we got to get him started here soon so maybe i'll have my warriors go with them as a guide on their journey hopefully they don't get stolen by barbarians or anything wow sweden already has what it looks like almost three cities along this border here 
Hmm. Things are to be looked to in a building. That it stand on the right spot. That it be securely founded. That it be successfully executed. Wow, he pretty much just described the whole job or everything you have to know to be a builder or an architect. Because uh, we got construction. We now can make the Terracotta Army Wonder, the Coliseum for Happiness, and the Lumber Mill. Okay, as you remember, we need Utike to build the library. We now have that work boat so we can work on those whales and maybe trade them off. But hopefully after we get the library... But hopefully after we get the library, we can uh, build the National College in Carthage. Okay, I'm thinking for our tech that we might want to get theology. And the reason why is because compass is the next upgrade to a boat. And boats are pretty much what you need when it comes to this island map that we're on. And the Galleus has range, so we can shoot with uh, the Gallius onto cities and destroy cities that way, which we might have to be doing in the near future, where our other boats, the special boats that uh, Carthage receives, cannot do that. So let's go with theology, and then we might get the boat next. I mean, this stuff is good, but we're really not going to need too much of it. We probably get the horseback riding just so that we have some guys some infantry guys to attack along with our boats once we're to that point but we have a little bit of time okay workers now that we can construct a lumber mill let's do that and get some more production attack <laughs> you guys can construct a lumber mill as well okay for our production um I think a temple might be necessary to get us some more faith because we only have plus two faith per turn and we don't want to get missed out on religion. That would be very sad. So let's go with the temple for Carthage and then once uh, Utike has the library, we can start building the National College. It's kind of taken a while to get that National College. Hopefully no one else builds it before us. All right, well, we're going to end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm a little worried about our third city, if that's really going to be good over here. Not a very good spot, and I don't like the setting. We have uh, Berlin and Boudica, you know, the Germans. They're all to our sides, and they seem to have a lot better land around here than we do. Um, they have more land, it seems like, beneath these clouds, and we just have this junky <laughs> little island but uh we are on turn 84 and i will see you next time